Today is October 11th and October is National Pizza Month. I'm Andy Butterworth. Oh, I'm Linda Fessenden. <laughs> I'm Robin Rothman. And uh, we're here with Sean Taylor, joining him in his Pizza Month escapades. Uh, he celebrates by eating a slice of pizza every day in October. With at least one other person. At 31 different locations. And but today we'll be eating at Pizza Etc in Oak Square in Brighton. It's only location. I'm pretty sure it's only location. Earlier today, I was in Brighton, Massachusetts, and I went to Pizza Etc. Pizza Etc. is the pizza place that my friends... As often as we get pizza, we pretty much go with Pizza Etc. I think we tried a couple other places, but that's the best in our little Brighton. And it's, it's very convenient, they're super fast, and it's close to home. What's nice about Pizza Etc. is it... And they're open late, which is a rarity in Boston. <laughs> a lot of things in Boston uh, shut down around midnight or one o'clock this one stays open till two so you got that extra hour uh, in between the bars closing and the tea shutting down um, to call pizza etc and and get a pie and it's really solid ingredients too i mean uh, i particularly like the toppings the toppings seem to have that extra level of freshness so if uh if you are torn between getting toppings on your pizza or just getting a plain cheese, I'd recommend getting the toppings, because especially the, the vegetarian toppings. I like the feta black yeah. olive a bit, like quite a bit. You know that feeling though you get when you eat something that you know is probably good for you? Well, throw some uh, cheese and sauce and crust in there. Maybe it's not as good for you, but it still will taste good. And I'd get it at Pizza Etc. Overall, I give Pizza Etc. a three and a half out of five. For more information, check out my blog located at 31daysofpizza.com. Sean has to eat with at least one other person uh, and at 31 different locations. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, avoiding trees. 